Hey guys, Google is working on its own processor and we could see this new chip in action really soon. Last year, Sundar Pichai, CEO of Google had indicated that there was some deeper investment in hardware and that there was a great roadmap for the future in 2021. This was a hint that Google is developing its own processor. Now we have leaks suggesting that Google is indeed developing its own processor and its code name is Whitechapel. It was first rumored in early 2020. Google is planning to use this new chip in upcoming Pixel phones and Chromebooks just like Apple uses its own chips in iPhones and Macs. Internally, this chip is codenamed as GS101. GS stands for Google Silicon. Google is developing this chip with help of Samsung's System Large Scale Integration Division. It will be based on Samsung's 5 nanometer fabrication process. Now, don't get too excited. I mean, Google's new chip will bring some new features and improvements with it, but it will not be more powerful than Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 or Apple's A14 Bionic. It will not even match the performance of those chips and honestly, Google's not even trying to beat these chips. First of all, it's their first generation of chips. And secondly, the main reason behind Google manufacturing its own chip is not performance. It's something very different and exciting. Google wants to provide a long-range software support to its users. Now, a big problem with Android in general is that you don't get software updates for long time and Google's Pixel devices also suffer from the same problem. Though Google provides 3 years of updates to its users, it still can't match Apple's 5 years of iOS updates to its iPhones. Apple can push these updates over longer period because it has control over all its basic and important things like software and the chip they manufacture. Both of these things are completely controlled by Apple. But same can't be said about Google. Sure, Google has complete control on its software, but they have to rely on Qualcomm for chipsets. And each time when Google wants to roll out a major software update, Google has to get drivers from Qualcomm in order to roll out the update. So that's the problem and Google's own chip can solve this problem. So now Google can also roll out updates for 5 years if it wants. Google will use ARM architecture for its new processors along with Mali GPU. This new processor could use two high performance Cortex A78 cores, A76 cores and four Cortex A55 cores. It will also integrate Google's Titan M security chip for extra security. This chipset will also come with Google's in-house tensor processing unit. This tensor processing unit will enhance Google's image and voice machine learning capabilities. Now this new chip may not be as powerful as Snapdragon 888 or A14 Bionic, but it will focus a lot on artificial intelligence and machine learning. We have seen that Google can do great things based on its machine learning. Google's Pixel devices are well known for their camera capabilities and image algorithm. So this new chip will focus more on these things. Google will use these new chips in its upcoming Pixel devices and possibly in its Chromebooks. So there are two new Pixel devices that are rumored to feature this new chip, Pixel 6 and Pixel 5a. With this new chip, we can get improvements like faster processing for night shots and HDR+, we'll also get improved background blur with real-time video and improved 4K and 8K video recording capabilities. So the future looks very promising when it comes to Google devices. We might also see massive performance jump in second or maybe third generation of these Google's chips. So if you were expecting flagship performance from this new Google Silicon, you might get disappointed. But if you are excited about a complete and feature-rich Pixel experience, you will be definitely pleased. So guys, that's it for this video. If this video was informative or entertaining, just drop a like and subscribe to the channel for more such videos. Follow me on Twitter at TechXTRJ. So guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I am Raj and I will see you guys in my next video.